Hi, you 12s again. This is Mr. Lim with the last video on aldehydes and their physical properties. Okay, so uh, this is what we're going to be learning. All right, we're again just really focusing on melting boiling points, solubility, and vapor pressure. Okay, so let's have a look. So the aldehyde group does not add hydrogen bonding to the molecule. So let's have a think what the aldehyde group is. Here is your aldehyde group. Remember, there are two things you need to have for hydrogen bonding. Number one is a hydrogen bonded to an very electronegative element. So that's an N, O, or F, right? And number two, you have to have an N, O, or F. Okay, so it has number two, because there's the oxygen, but it doesn't have a number one. It doesn't have any hydrogen bonded to the uh, N, O, or F, because this hydrogen here is bonded to a carbon, not to the nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. Okay, so there is no hydrogen bonding within aldehydes by themselves okay okay so there we go um, so what this does is effectively it increases the dipole dipole so this presence of that oxygen there means that that part there is very electronegative okay so that's the positive end and that's the negative end and over the entire molecule that end there is very negative which means it has a little bit more dipole dipole forces on it right. so uh, because of this, because they don't have hydrogen bonding, but they have dipole dipole, they have moderate melting boiling points, um, and their sum of van der Waals forces is slightly bigger because, well, than their hydrocarbon counterparts, uh, because of the extra dipole dipole forces there. All right, remember, it's always about the sum of intermolecular forces, and if I don't see the word sum when you write down your answers for explaining stuff, you're not going to get any marks. All right. Aldehydes have higher melting boiling points than similar sized hydrocarbons, but lower than similar sized alcohols. Why do alcohols have a higher melting boiling point? Because they have hydrogen bonding? Incorrect. No. Alcohols have a higher melting boiling point because they have a greater sum of intermolecular forces because they also have hydrogen bonding. But you have to save a sum of intermolecular forces. All right. um, so, solubility in water. The presence of oxygen in the molecule means that aldehydes are soluble in water. So why are they soluble in water? Remember, the solubility is the ability to form bonds of similar or greater strength uh, between the solvent and the solute compared to the solvent, solvent, solute, solute bonds. All right. So the hydrogen bonds can form between the water and the aldehyde group. So here's your aldehyde group. And here is a water. All right. A water will be able to form hydrogen bonds between that and that. Well, not that, actually. No. So, why will the hydrogen bonds not be able to form here, in that little area there? Why not there? Because remember, you need this hydrogen to be bonded to a very electronegative element. So the only hydrogen bonding is between their H bonding. Right? And because it has some H bonding, it is... Uh, soluble if they're in small sizes because you have that hydrogen bonding producing enough energy to break the solute, solute, and solvent, solvent bonds. All right, so it can be there. Okay, again, the larger the aldehyde, the greater the effect the hydrocarbon end has. So if you've got an aldehyde that's this long, all right, it's got to consider all of this area here, which had, can't form any hydrogen bonds, and that's not going to. Um, be energetically favorable and so therefore have a lower solubility than if it was a little bit shorter all right where that area is a much shorter there okay uh hydrocarbons can't form solar wrong bonds of water yet that's what we discussed uh, that hydrocarbon end just can't produce any hydrogen bonds and therefore doesn't make any energy to um dissolve into the water okay so here is a uh, a table of the various things okay so you can see here that as you go down in um, as you go down the table, which means that you increase in size, right? You are losing solubility, so less and less soluble in water, right? Okay. Um, uh, you can also see that as your melting and boiling points are here, as you increase the size, uh, your melting and boiling points are increasing. Why are the melting and boiling points increasing in size? Um, because of the I hope you said sum of intermolecular forces or van der Waals forces. Okay, so which part is increasing? The dispersion forces are increasing. Dispersion forces are increasing. 
Why the dispersion force is increasing? Because it's getting bigger. All right. Um, then we have vapor pressure. So aldehydes have generally have a high vapor pressure due to the relatively low sum of intermolecular forces. Again, that's the definition of vapor pressure. You can read that and write that down if you have to. Here is a diagram of um, a whole bunch of different substances and their vapor pressures. So let's have a look. Here we start off with our hydrocarbons, the alkanes, which are all the way up there. Okay, so their vapor pressures are very high because they have a very low sum of intermolecular forces. All they have is dispersion forces. All right. Then we're followed up by the aldehydes. That's the one we're talking about now, right? Which are there. Okay, those aldehydes only have dipole dipole compared to the other stuff, so therefore they have a low uh, sum of intermolecular forces, but higher than their hydrocarbon counterparts. All right, then we get into the other things like alcohols, okay, which have slightly uh, lower vapor pressures and therefore slightly higher uh, sum of intermolecular forces. And we go into carboxylic acids, which we'll learn about soon. Uh, they're there down here, right? And they have uh, even more sum of intermolecular forces because they just owe some cool stuff. All right. So that's the concepts of aldehydes and their physical properties. You just need to remember stuff about um, whether they have hydrogen bonding, which they don't, uh, their melting boiling points, their solubilities, and their vapor pressures. That's it.